Hey YouTube, this is Lightworks Tutorials with another video. This time we're going to be showing you guys how to use the green screen effect uh, on videos. It uses chroma keys to make green screen of a video transparent so a background such guy image here be shown. So as an example, I've made a simple green screen with a jet, commercial jet, with um, a sky background. Let's get right in. So before I do anything though, I'm going to make a new edit and import all the videos again. And I'll see you guys on the other side. Welcome back guys. Uh, I've imported everything. So I've imported the image and the green screen video as shown here. Uh, with the image, you, the best is to import a large re resolution image. So to get started, import everything as usual and after that, click on the gear icon on the top right hand corner of the timeline box and add new tracks, one video, click yes. Now for this, we would want the video to be in V1 because that is the foreground and of course the image is the background. So what we want to do now is to place the image in V2 as the background and shorten it if you want. So as shown here the image has two black lines on either side so that's an easy fix just use DVE to scale it or crop it. And now for the green screen part, what we want to do is right click on V1, the foreground video, and click on King Green Screen. And as shown there, the green screen automatically makes the adjustment. So now the green is completely gone. However, in some situations where light works, doesn't recognize that the green is there, what you want to do is click on this little p color picker here and click on the surrounding color that you do, you do not want to review or to be shown in the absolute picture. Now to show you guys what what I mean when I'm saying when I'm telling you that the um, the green part of the of V1 has disappeared. Well, if you go down to reveal and click on that, the white is the transparent part of V1 and the black is the is the part of the video where it's not transparent as shown here. If you just click on invert, it just inverts it as shown there. The black is not the transparent black part and the white is. Click on re reveal as shown there. Now the green is shown and the plane has disappeared. So if we click that again and if we would play it As you can see the video looks okay, however since the plane is moving and the camera pans around to where the plane is moving as well, the background image does look a bit still. So to solve this little problem, what we want to do is click on 
V2 again, go back to the DVE part, and what we're going to do is add keyframes so then it makes the um, background image look like it's moving with the plane. Now this is why I said to you guys that a um, high resolution image is preferable as what we want to do is zoom in on part of the sky so if we would unhighlight the plane and zoom in using the scale master tool zoom in to 1.5 click enter and using our knowledge of keyframes click on the clock icon and move the red diamond on the keyframes to the very end of the video and change the position value to 0.3 click enter and do that the same for the first of all however move back to the first frame of the video click on the clock icon again and using the red diamond again move all the way down to the very end of the video and change the Y value to 0.45 go back and cl click on the V1 again to reveal the plane and as you can see if we would play it As you can see, the plane now looks like it's actually moving in the sky instead of a still background because of the keyframes that we added. So that's to that's all we have time for, guys. This is just a um, quick and simple introduction to green screen and chroma keys. If you do enjoy, please leave a like, share, subscribe, share with all your friends. See you guys soon. Bye.